Welcome to CS2's Hammer. When holding right click, you can move around freely with WAS and D. Use the block tool to create a new mesh by clicking and dragging across the grid. With the mesh selected, it can be scaled using these gizmos. In the top left, we can switch between selection modes. This can also be done using the number keys. In face select mode, double click the mesh to select all of its faces. Pressing F in face select mode flips the selected faces, turning the box we just created into a room. Select one of these faces and hit delete to remove it. Now in edge mode, select the lower edge. You can press T to use the move tool and drag it out. When holding shift, the move tool will extrude instead of move. Use the entity tool to place a new entity. If you switch to objects mode, you can select it and press alt enter to open the object properties. By default, it's an info player start entity, but we can change it into something else. For example, a light omni, which we will use to light up our map. Before we can look at the map in game, it needs to be compiled. If you have a ray tracing enabled GPU, you can press F9 and hit build to launch your map. It is possible to compile without a ray tracing GPU, however, it is quite complicated, so I'll cover it in a separate video.